Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for August 9th, 2020. So today, oh beautiful, we have Angel Light. Support is all around you. You are not in this alone. You have your spiritual team, you have your guardian angels, your spirit guides, your animal guides. They are saying, we are here, we've always been here. You've never, ever had to be alone. We love you. Now, Angel Light talks about angelic communication. And a lot of times people want to make this a big deal. <laughs> All right? They want to make it a big deal and they think that they can't talk to their angels. And it always makes me smile when I, especially when I get a client that says, I don't know how to talk to my angels. And I say to them, well, you know how to talk to me, right? You know how to talk to your family and your friends and strangers on the street. That's exactly how you talk to your angels. Now, the issue comes where we have a problem receiving the message. So that's where we get into meditation. Meditation kind of helps you drop the ego consciousness a little bit so that you can understand and not twist the message as it's coming through, as it filters through the third dimensional ego consciousness. You can listen with your heart. The other thing that people do is that they'll go into meditation. They just want to fix their life. And I need the angels to help me fix my life. <laughs> right? And when you do that, you're showing that what is, is not correct for you. And the fact of the matter is, is where you are is perfect. But what you're asking for might be a new experience. Okay, so I'm going to experience being alone right now. Universe, show me what it is. Angels, bring in a message about how I can connect to other human beings in a more profound way. Let me see that part of the adventure. And now there's a different frequency, okay? Now you're not bringing things in from the intellect out of desperation. You're connecting on a soul level because you're working through the heart. So when you ask your angels for something and you're receiving a message, don't try to filter it through the ego consciousness. The ego will throw you off. The ego will tell you this isn't right. The ego will try to, you know, contrive some other meaning. When the angels are helping to bring you the comfort that you're seeking. But you have to be willing to receive. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.